bucks a dollar. I know, such a handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Where are you from? California. Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. We're all from all over. Yeah, Boston. This is last game of the time. It nice. is. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Nice. Thank you so much. Good to meet you. Thanks for taking time out. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you. Are you Have fun here? out there. Thank you. Thank you. When I was a young teenage boy growing up as a firefighter, and all throughout the country, there was a couple of rescues, right, in a close period of time that Paul was involved in that made the whole country aware of Paul Hashagan. Um, one was the news helicopter crash when he rescued the news reporter and the uh, pilot from the helicopter. Paul was the rescue diver that went out. He went down not once, but twice. He went down, first got the reporter, brought her up. And then he went down again to get the pilot out of the helicopter. And I was just a young kid then, and uh, so Paul was like a legend. And then to be able to come here and work with him was pretty cool. Good luck. Good luck in your retirement. He's probably one of the most decorated firemen in the city of New York we're losing. Now it's sort of like I can't go to the old guy and uh, <laughs> beg some information out of him. So, I mean, it, that makes it tough there. You know, you're know, you really in the hot seat now. That's the way I feel. Fire. Four quick, give me four. Four here. There's water. There's a camera. Oh, no, you're not getting me in this. This bar is closer than get the fire today. Put it out. It's another proud moment in the fire department. Stand by for the following message. The old timer is leaving. <laughs> I've been working on this mural for a long time. So I guess I'm putting some finishing touches on. Everybody that's been assigned to the company is on the wall. That would be Captain Morris. He's noted for training firefighters across the country and how to get through doors and specifically how to get through locks. I think that might be me. It doesn't have my name on it, but I believe that's my uh, likeness. Joel's on the wall over there above that sign. Worked with Joel several years now, and he has to be one of the smartest guys I've ever worked with, so I gave him a little bit of Einstein's knowledge in his hand there. Hey, it's the brain. Now I'm over here with taking notes. Me and my duck. I miss the guys, but I get to see the guys. I'll miss the house, but I get to visit the house. But I'll miss driving that truck. It's hard to get close. You gotta kind of like just slide it right in and cut it deep. <laughs> oh, look. The truck. It's his first words, his truck. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna work out nice here. Today's my last day, so you can drive tonight on, okay? This is the tougher side to cut, the pulley on the saw. You ready? Slide it right in and cut it deep. Yeah. You're the best driver we have. Drive the fork right under there and pull it in. Bye bye. Bye bye. You're still gonna come and see the other fireman, right? Sure. See Joel, yeah. <laughs> You're the best. Bye. bye. There's a little boy that lives next door and has taken a shine to the truck. For 25 years, I did this, and I was successful at it. And I'm going out on my own terms. And so far, I'm not seriously injured. And a lot of my friends aren't with me anymore that just by the way things happened on one day. So I'm getting out of here in one piece and alive, and I'm grateful for that, so. I just think when I had my time in there, I did a good job, and, and I had the respect of the guys I work with, and I can ask for more than that. Be or. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's Elizabeth, my daughter. Think how skinny I look to be next oh! to oh! I'll be um, the senior guy to rescue one as of 6 o'clock today. This is the last time to back the truck in. Losing Paul is a big loss. I don't know whether a lot of people realize that we lost a lot of senior guys in that, you know, tragedy. So it's not too many left in the job. Ah, it'd be a tough drive. So I don't have to come tomorrow, right? Well, I'm gonna be here. <laughs> I'm glad of that. Joel! You! You got it. Very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Welcome to retirement. 
Patio. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't put them down, Sella. <laughs> yeah, your box, name's already gone from the box. <laughs> I'll stay in it tonight. Goes in the boiler and we'll dress them. Chief, you don't have to help these guys at all. I know, you know, I know it. Good run. What do we do next? All right, here we go. We're gonna play officer. Hey, Jack, we're gonna have Jack drive. You're the chauffeur. Okay, you're gonna beat up the wheel spot tonight. Ah. The dirt coat up is mine. Now what? I heard that bell. Santa Claus might be here. Oh! Are you ready for Santa Claus, everybody? Where's he coming from? Who was there last year? For Santa Claus. You spend more time the guys in the fires probably than with anybody else, you know. Sometimes it's funny, like everything I do is, uh, is, is firehouse related, you know. Uh, you know, all my best friends are firemen. You know, when I'm off, I'm hanging out with firemen. It's, it's, it really does become like a whole way of life. I mean, you have two families, but that's the thing about the firehouse. Some wives, they can't live with that sometimes. That you know, you're just as close sometimes with the guys in the firehouse as you are with your mate. I mean, I won't say that to my wife on camera, will I? Some guys you hear marriage, marriages just don't work because you're away nights. And for others, it works out. You know, absence yeah. makes the heart grow fonder. You know, I was on this job before I was married and had kids, so it's the way my whole marriage and existence has been, and it's, you know. I'm lucky. You know, this place definitely feels like home, so it's, uh, you know, it's going to be a bittersweet thing, you know, being promoted out of here. So many guys retired, and I guess, you know, all the guys we lost, so they're promoting pretty fast. So I'm getting promoted a lot faster than I thought it would be. Eddie! Take Richie with you up for the Rescue the room. Yeah, Richie, the fire's mo mostly towards the front of the building, all right? Right by the wall down there. Hey, Liam. Hey, Liam, I think you got it, boss. Good job. Two rescue officers here working. I got Liam's been promoted, so I made him queen for the night. Hey, good to meet you guys here. I'm like a uh, heat-seeking missile. <laughs> so far, every fire I've ever gone to, it's gone out. Every gone to, it goes out. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, the blood up with you tonight. I think those inside guys got an agenda tonight at yeah. being Liam's last door and all. Yeah. It's nice to get promoted to the rank of lieutenant, but unfortunately, on a fire department, when you get promoted, you have to leave the firehouse that you're assigned to. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really not looking forward to leaving, but, you know. One other <laughs> comment about my friend Liam. <laughs> Have you ever had a big swollen tick stuck in your ass? <laughs> the day he gets promoted, it's going to be like when that tick gets pulled out. There you go. The tick is leaving. The tick is leaving. But I'll miss him. Dearly. I think that's a compliment. It is. Yeah. We don't have much time left to break each other's chops. He's getting promoted and I'm retiring in a month and a half. So we're getting our shots in while we can. Yeah. You guys will miss me when I'm gone. Oh, you're still here? Yeah, how much longer? <laughs> I hate to admit it, but this guy deserves to go anywhere as he wants to. And that's a fact. Oh, there he goes. So the Johnny Lieutenant. <laughs> We're going to miss him on uh, just being around the kitchen. You know, we got to get uh, a new pet to kick around. All right. See you later. It's going to be a big loss to the company. You know, his heart is really great. And he loves the job. You know. That comes through also. So he'll be the same way as a boss. You know, he'll just uh, take real good care of the guys. So 
We're going to miss Liam, but we can't tell him that. You know? Please welcome the mayor of the city of New York, the Honorable Michael R. Bloomberg. Well, good afternoon. It's a, it's a wonderful occasion here today. 250 people being promoted to the ranks of fire battalion chief, captain and lieutenant. And on behalf of 8 million people, I wanted to wish all of you the best and say congratulations. There are 15,000 men and women that make up the New York's bravest. And I just wanted to point out to you what a spectacular job they have done during the last year. There were fewer deaths from fire in this last year than any time in the last 75 years. That makes New York City one of the safest large cities in the country. And uh, thank you for a job well done. Lieutenant Gary S. Iorio, lot of 45. Lieutenant Liam J. Flaherty, Rescue 4.